Hello kids, I Jyoti Pant, your science teacher. Welcome in my class. Let's start the first chapter of the science. And the name of the chapter is Food. Where does it come from? Chapter. In this chapter, the first is the understanding the importance of the food and nutrition in living things. And the second is identifying food ingredients. That is type of the food, sources of the food. That is plant and animal sources and the part of the plant is food. And the third one is classification of the animal based on the food habits. That is a herbivore, carnivore, omnivore, parasites, scavenger, decomposers, etc. Let's just start the chapter. The <clears throat> first topic of the chapter is why food is essential. As you all know that our body needs food to nourish and energize itself and this need for the food is one of the important characteristics of the living being and food is essential for the living beings as it provides us the energy necessary to carry out various life activities and second is it helps in the growth and repair of the or replacement of the worn out tissues then third is the it protect the body from the various diseases and it keeps us fit. Okay, now next is variety of the food item. As you know, when we uh, uh, go for the dinner or our lunch, then we can see there are so many items in our uh, plate. And the variety of food item may we can see at chapatis, it may be the pulses, it may be the idli, dosa, kheer, dal, utpam, dal bati, and uh, different type of the food items may be there. And uh, we all know that in our India, as different regions are there, different uh, cultures are there, so according to that, the food items are of different types. And it also depends on the availability of the food item. Okay, then next is the ingredients. The substance through which a food is made is called its ingredient. For example, we can say a chapati. Chapati is made up of, uh, we all know, wheat flour plus water. Then second example is of kheer. Kheer is made up of rice plus milk. It means that what are the ingredients of the chapati? Uh, these are wheat flour and water. And what are the ingredients of kheer? Then we will say rice and milk. For example, one more is there. It is idli. For, the, for making the idli, the ingredients are which we require rice flour. Then second is the uh, urad dal or black gram. Then the conclusion is that the substance through uh, which are required to make a particular dish, they are called the ingredient of that particular dish or food item. The next <clears throat> variety of the food item. As I, I was saying that the variety of the food item depends on the number one climate of that particular place and uh, culture and one more most important thing is the availability of the food the availability of the food it means if rice is available in that particular area if the crop of the rice is good in that uh, in the, any particular area then obviously they will eat the rice and if that area is uh, good in the uh, wheat it means well, wheat crop is good in that area so obviously they will uh, have uh, chapatis due to the different climate different type of the crops fruits and vegetables are grown or found in that particular area we can give the, some examples also as <clears throat> coastal area in the coastal area we all know seafood is available uh, the quantity of the seafood is too much and then the other then the main uh, variety or we can say the main food item uh, are seafoods different type of there that may be the fishes pawn and other things and in the uh, second example is northeast in the northeast of india uh, the cultivation of rice is too much then the main food item is the rice as in the punjab uh, wheat crop is good though the cultivation due to the cultivation of the good wheat uh, we they use they uh, usually 
or we can say they mostly use the chapatis they mostly eat the chapatis so it totally depend on the availability of the food in the particular area 